he's not paying attention to me. He's not prioritizing me. He's not taking me out. I do not feel cherished, adored, or like I'm his priority. Does this resonate? Has this ever happened to you? Have you felt like this? This is what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hello, I'm Anna Rova. I'm your femininity and feminine embodiment coach. I coach women into shifting and transforming the reality of men and I help you attract committed masculine men. So if you're listening to this on my claim podcast, welcome. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome again. And so today I want to share with you something really important that comes from my own life and my, from my own experience with my committed masculine men. For those of you who know me, I've been married for about five years. We have a whole, fam whole family. I've got two little girls. And so, you know, I'm constantly practicing polarity. And I wanted to be vulnerable here and share with you my experience. Um, and I'm also conscious of the fact that you, I don't even know why I'm sharing this but anyways if you're listening to this you can go to the video and see I'm totally without makeup I think my face is like a little bit red this ring light is helping bring this out but anyways I had a skin needling session yesterday and I can't put any makeup for five days and I was like whatever I'm just gonna be who I am because this is important and so here I am <laughs> anyways this was a side note coming back to the subject you know I'm not perfect <laughs> surprise I'm not perfect and so I'm never gonna be that coach that is gonna be like my marriage is freaking amazing all the time, right? Because it's not. And me as a human, Anna, a woman, a mother, and a wife, and a lover to my amazing husband, um, I can tell you that things are never perfect. I am, I would say 80, 80 85%, maybe 90% satisfied with my marriage and relationship, but there are ups and downs. There are things that happen. And so, you know, I'm becoming vulnerable and sharing with you some realizations that I've had in the last two weeks with my men. I also do feel in my marriage, and you know, me and my husband are, it's a, it's a really interesting dynamic between the two of us, and I'll explain why. Not only we are husband and wife, we're practicing polarity, right? So he's in his masculine, I'm in my feminine, but we're also business partners. And so that can be really hard. And when you are husband and wife in a business and business partners, that is a fine line to walk and that's really challenging and that can lead to a disaster or this can lead into some, something amazing. So far, uh, it has led to a lot of amazing things, but it wasn't perfect and it's really challenging sometimes. And so anyways, this is a totally separate conversation, but I wanted to give you this context. And so what I noticed is that in the last few weeks, I did not feel... I started to feel like he's not paying attention to me. He is igno not ignoring me, like not taking me out on dates, that I'm not his priority and yada, 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 whatever. And so what I teach women, what I do for myself, I the first thing that I do is turning the mirror back to myself and saying, how do I feel? And why do I feel like that? Focusing on me instead of reacting. And don't get me wrong, I sometimes react as well. But I have been... I've done a lot of embodiment practice, and obviously I teach this to women to be conscious enough to say, what is this about for me? And how can I give myself what I want him to give me, right? So I want him to take me out, I want, da, 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 I want all of this, why? Because I wanna feel a certain way. How do I wanna feel? I want to feel cherished, adored, safe, taken care of, loved, okay? How can I do this for myself, right? And so this can be as simple as, you know, um, reminding myself of what I love, about my hobbies, about my self-care. You know, I love fashion and makeup. I love my girlfriends. I love going into nature and the beach. I love luxuriating and, you know, spending time with myself, having a lot of space. I love having <laughs> and, you know, feeling a lot of pleasure. And so how can I give that to myself and how can I release him of a lot of pressure? So that's what I do. And by the way, if you're like, honey, let's get into the bedroom, he'll be the first to take you there. But anyways, so, so that's the first thing, right? But I also noticed something that I actually didn't notice before, although it's very obvious, but it's really important to share. In the last few months, we've had a few different changes and transitions in terms of our business and in terms of our financial stability. It was very volatile. And then we've had a few challenging moments there and then we came to the point now in the last week or so where I noticed that that stability is back, that security and stability is back. And I noticed how my men shifted from being not present, not available, stressed, not taking me out, blah, 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 to becoming open again, 
and to becoming really present again. I was like, mm, you know, like he started to become really happy and, 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 and bubbly and like himself and joking, listening to music, which he hasn't done in the last few months. And I was like, what's that about? And I realized, and here's the, the important lesson here. I realized that his main focus and purpose and mission of a protector and a provider as a committed masculine man was uh, really shaky. Because that financial stability wasn't there and he was really stressed, he couldn't focus on me. He couldn't give me what he didn't have. All of his energy. He was waking up at 4.30 a.m. He was going to bed at 9.10. He was working. He was really focused, trying to make this work. For who? Not for himself, if you really think about this, but for me and for us and for our family. So sometimes when you know you feel like he doesn't care or he doesn't put you first, he actually is putting you first. But his priority is not you specifically and how you feel, but his priority is to make sure you are taken care of, that you are secured and your family is secured and safe. Because if he can't do that as a masculine man in his core, his identity is, is well, identity. He, as a man, that is his highest priority. And that's what you want. That's what, in essence, that's what I want, right? Like, what do you want? If you want to feel, question two, how do you want to feel in a relationship? That is the main question that all women need to ask themselves. Most women tell me I want to feel safe, cherished, adored, taken care of. Well, guess what? If he's focused on that mission, his mission and purpose is not you. This is really important to understand in polarity dynamics. And you don't want it to be you. You think that you do, but you actually don't. Because when a man's mission is you, in the beginning it feels amazing, but in the long term it's not. Because when a man's life revolves around you and putting your desires first, he becomes a puppy. He becomes someone who doesn't know who he is and his whole life is directed by what you want. And I don't want to be in a relationship with a man like that because I, I know that in the long term I won't respect him. It might sound amazing, but I actually don't want that, <laughs> right? What I want, and this is my experience, this might be different from you, is I know that when my man focuses on his mission and his purpose, which is not me, which is bigger than me, which is can be very simple you know he doesn't have my man doesn't have this like world mission to save the world or build a colony on mars or i don't know whatever right my man doesn't have that his mission and purpose is to be a good father is to be a good protector and a provider that's it it's very simple and i think a lot of men if not most men just have that mission right that is his mission that's how he expresses that's how my man expresses his love and I only understand that now. And I understand that now because I've noticed one, like he was very volatile, not present. I'm like, you're not loving me. Where are you? Take me on a date. But he can't take me on a date because he's freaking working 16 hours a day, a day trying to figure this thing out. How is he going to protect and provide? How is he going to pay for rent, bills, take care, da, 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 da. So he doesn't have that capacity. The masculine is extremely focused. Women, on the other hand, as feminine essence women, so if you are a woman like that, we're like octopuses, right? We've got eight hands. We can be a wife and a mother and a, a lover and a teacher. And like, we can be everything to everyone. We have the capacity to multitask. I'll give you an example. I'm like, I can hold a baby in one hand. I can cook dinner in the other. And in the process, I can, I don't know, I'll, I'll load the dishwasher and pack a lunchbox at the same time and talk to my sister on the phone. Like, I could do that. And then I get so frustrated where I'm like, where I'm like, can I leave you with a baby? And can you please heat up dinner? Like, he can't do that at the same time. I'm like, WTF, how do, how do women do How do you think women do it? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> Because for him, it's like, if he's holding the baby in one hand, that's what he's doing right now. That's it. He can't do three things at a time. It's crazy. He doesn't work like that. But I do. And that's why where I'm like, why can't you be the protection, the provider, and focus on this one challenge, right, in this area of your life, and take me out on dinner, and hold me and share. Like, he, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> There's a problem. He needs to fix it, right? So I become not secondary, 
but he's just not able to give me that because he's not able to play and that's his masculine strength actually that he can focus and he can fix that and once that's settled guess what i noticed he becomes more present more available he starts to joke again he relaxes in his body and then he can turn to me and say can i take you out should we should go here right so that was my message to you so next time when you feel if you're in a relationship with a man or in a marriage but whenever you feel like you're not cherished adored not his priority you know all of that all of us go through that right first thing to do is to ask yourself how can you give that to yourself right like what are the things that you can do instead of starting to blame him and blah, blah blah but also notice where his attention might be turned at the moment is his purpose challenged is he focused on that can you allow some space there can you actually see your man and it's really hard but see your man in the challenge and trust that he will figure it out and that you will be here right and really appreciate and respect for me my man that's how he's expressing love for him it's more important to make sure that we are financially secure that he feels like i've got this i'm not failing here as a man as a protector provider that's his priority right than to take me out on a date every week because guess what he'll take you out on a date he'll be there with me but his mind is going to be on work and i don't want that so that's my recommendation to that so if you like this episode this video subscribe to my youtube channel comment below if this was helpful and just to remind you that i have a full training on how to start attracting committed masculine men if you're single or that those steps also apply to if you're in a relationship and that polarity is in there and you're really struggling you can go to claim.com training or, or click on the link below where you can sign up for a free training where I share my whole formula. I'm sure you're going to love it. So wherever we meet again, I will see you there. Thank you.